Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good day, viewers. Welcome to the Daily Fountain. Um, today's topic is the day of the Lord. But before we start, let us say a short prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for another opportunity to open your word. May, may it be light to our path in the name of Jesus. May it speak to us today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today is Wednesday, September 9th, 2020. 2020 and today's topic is the day of the Lord and our text is taken from Zechariah 14 1 to 9 Zechariah 14 1 to 9 I read behold the day of the Lord is coming and your spoil will be divided in your midst for I will gather all this nation to battle against Jerusalem the city shall be taken the houses rifled and the women ravished Half of the city shall go into captivity, but the remnant of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations as he fights in the days of battle. And in that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, which faces Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from the east to the west, making a very large valley Half of the mountain shall move towards the north, and half of it towards the south. Then you shall flee through my mountain valley, for the mountain valley shall reach to Hazel. Yes, you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. Thus says the Lord my God, will come, and all the saints with you. It shall come to pass in that day that there will be no light, the light will diminish. It shall be one day which is known to the Lord, neither day nor night, but at evening time it shall happen that it will be light. And in that day it shall be that living water shall flow from Jerusalem, half of them towards the eastern sea and half of them towards the western sea. In both summer and winter it shall occur. And the Lord shall be king over the earth, in that day it shall be the Lord. The Lord is one and his name is one. May God bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. The topic says the day of the Lord. What inspired this? We can see that the day of the Lord, there will be desertion. There will be division. This particular verse at Zechariah 14 was specific, was sent to Jerusalem was specific to Jerusalem because in those days as we can see from verse 1 it says that half of the city will be cut off there will be remnant also let's just do a short background to this to this passage we can see that God himself had to reveal himself to Zechariah to go and tell during the time of um, the reign of Cyrus these people were in captivity and God wanted to relieve re the, 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 the few that were released. God wanted them to build his temple. And we saw that it was, it was recorded that they were, they were complacent. They were lazy in building God's temple. God sent um, Jeremiah and Uzziah to go and warn them, to rebook them and also to encourage them. So, this passage is a passage of encouragement and rebook also. And is to tell them that in the day of the Lord, when the Lord, you have to put your acts together. That when the Lord comes, he will, there will be total division. Those who have been rebelling against God, God is going to bring judgment. It's a day of judgment. It's a day of judgment. So, we can see that there will be division, as we have said. There will be separation. And the Lord God will fight his battle. The Lord God will fight his own battle. The Lord God is going to fight against nations of the earth. It is going to be a day of judgment where God is going to bring every works 
to, to, to pass through the fire. What are you doing right now? But the good news is that the remnant, the remnant will be saved. The remnant, may we be part of those who will be saved in Jesus' name. May we be part of those who will be redeemed in, the, in Jesus' name. It also tells us that in the day of the Lord, they shall, God will know his own. There shall be selection. So there will be selection. The few that will be called out will be selected. And that takes us to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. That God knows, the Lord knows his own. God, he says, the Lord knows those who are his. And let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart from all iniquity. So this still brings us back to our own personal life. That those who call upon the name of the Lord should depart from iniquity. As you're calling upon the name of the Lord, remove anything that will stand between you and God. Remove every sin, that will, whether secret sin, whether things that God, God cannot behold iniquity. So therefore, to, to avoid being judged, to avoid judgment coming upon you, you have to remove anything that is going to cause sin. And this is talking to the church, this is talking to the nation. If we want God not to bring judgment upon us, as a nation, as a church, we have to depart from iniquity. We have to depart from... But the good news, but the good news, it says in verse 8, that living waters shall flow. Yes, verse 8 says that, and in that day it shall be that living water shall flow from Jerusalem. That is good news. That is good news. Now, no matter what, that means there will be a refreshing. No matter what you've gone through, despite the division, despite the separation, despite the earthquake, it could be that you are going through turbulence in your life right now. It could be that you're going through things that you can't even tell people. But the God says they will be refreshing. Living water shall flow. Living water, living water shall flow. They should be. They will be refreshing. It just reminds us of when um, 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 the people of God go passes through fire. It says you shall be refined like gold. You shall be refined like gold. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're passing through, be of good cheer. He said he has conquered the world. So it's, a, it's, it's an encouragement in between, in, in the midst of you knowing that the world has gone the way or is going the way it's going. Just know that the ones that will remain, that God will save, will go through will be refreshed, will be refreshed. And that is the good news we have. So therefore, walk uprightly. Walk uprightly so that the judgment of God will not come upon you. Walk and do that which is right and that which God wants us to do. So that brings us to our daily devotion today. And it says, the day of the Lord. The book of Zechariah 14 is an archetype of the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 24 which revealed that the day of the Lord would be full of surprises, mixed feelings. Nobody knows. Yes, in that verse that we read, it says nobody knows the day of the Lord. The night, whether it is night, whether it is day, nobody knows. So it is mixed feelings. It will be a day of wrath and fierce anger. And everyone will be judged accordingly. You will be judged according to your works. You will be judged according to your works. And it also says, then everyone will be gathered under a clarion call unto Jerusalem and be dealt with in cruelty. It would be relay rapture experiences as there would be two divisions where the godly, that's the saints, would be called up into the Lord Jesus. No one will be unaware of this great event. That day there won't be light, neither would there be any form of darkness. And also that the day will be completely and exclusively, it will be handled by the Lord Jesus himself. And we can see that in Revelation eleven, fifteen, And also verse 8 and 9 from the passage we read, Zechariah. Beloved, will you not need the assistance of a chief justice to determine the rightness or otherwise of an action? Every soul and action will be handled by Jesus alone. Who will give to everyone according to his deeds? It is going to be a day of separation between two different attitudes and lifestyle. Only the prepared will not gnash their teeth in regret. How prepared are you? How prepared am I for this day, for this great day? How prepared are you? How prepared am I? 
Do I have anything that could stand against myself and God? Do you have anything that could stand against you and your Savior? Put it at the feet of Jesus Christ today and you'll be redeemed and be saved. Her prayer today is, Lord, help me to remember that whatever I do today will be brought to judgment one day and grant me repentant heart when necessary. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that you grant us repentance heart, that you cleanse every thought that does not bring itself to your submission this day. Father Lord, that you help us to be able to know what is right. You said a contract heart you will not you will not forsake. Father Lord, we ask, oh God, a broken and contrite heart you will not forsake. Father, we ask this day that you look upon us with mercy and may your judgment never come upon us in the name of Jesus. May we never be condemned in the name of Jesus. As we go forth today, we go in light, we go in peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Do have a lovely day and bye. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Thank you.